Hello friend, Mormo here. Today I got a very personal video and I don't know, kind of sad. I feel kind of sad right now. But when I it's it's about the movie Faces of Death and I'd never seen it until today. But when I was a kid, I there was like drama in my family because um like when I was born, my parents divorced when I was just a baby, and my mom took me to the other side of the country, but then when I got into the first grade, she brought me back to California, and I started visiting my dad, and uh, the big ritual with my dad was renting videotapes that was like a fairly new technology. I wish I could remember what age I was because I can remember before there was videotapes. I remember like the beta VHS wars and stuff. <clears throat> and I remember getting a VCR for the first time. My family rented a VCR at first and watched a couple tapes. And then we ended up buying one. But, um, so I'm guessing I was probably like around 10, maybe 10 or 11 or something. But anyways, I was staying at my dad's and my dad wanted me to watch Faces of Death. And I was just like a little kid. And, uh. I guess I was kind of a wimp or whatever and wanted to call my mom to get her permission to watch Faces of Death, and she said no, and uh, and it was like this kind of traumatic thing where my mom was really upset at my dad, and um, Just kind of like to say it was just like drama and my childhood drama and stuff. This fight between my mom and my dad that he wanted me to see Faces of Death and she didn't. And I just got done watching it and I think she was right. This is not a good movie for a little kid to watch. Um, like a teenager maybe could watch it. Um... I think when you're a teenager, you're more into, like, shock and, and like, being grossed out and stuff. I remember I watched, like, Mondo Magic and uh, Shocking Africa and Death Scenes 1 and 2 when I was in high school and stuff. <coughs> Rented them on my own. And, and was kind of into them back then. But like at this age. I'm not really into this stuff anymore. And now I take antipsychotic medication. And like real life crime and gore and stuff. Just pretty much upsets me nowadays. And I did some research on this movie. And it's estimated that about 40% of it is fake. And I actually enjoyed the fake stuff a lot more than the real stuff. Um, it kind of had that like sick 70s sleaze kind of campy quality to it. Kind of like... Um, I kept thinking it reminded me of the, set, the 70s movie from Troma. And now I can't think of the title of it. Um... Blood sucking freaks. It kind of had that that kind of vibe of like greasy seventies porno stashes and afros and stuff. And uh, every people just had a certain look in the seventies. And like you can watch westerns made in the seventies, and they're supposed to be set in in like history, but everybody looks like a sleazy seventies type person. So the fake stuff had that, like, campy kind of 70s vibe. And I'm not going to go real deep into, like, what this movie shows. It's on Tubi for free. If you're curious and you're not a kid, you can watch it. 
but it shows like autopsy footage and accident cleanup and stuff like that. And then there's like fake stuff like a guy getting attacked by a bear and an alligator and um, the scene with the monkey that was obviously fake. You can tell when it's fake. Because of the choppy editing, there's like quick edits and the camera moving around and stuff during the um, footage. And, uh, but this movie was just gross and I didn't care for it. I'm glad I didn't watch it when I was a kid. Um, it was just like gross and depressing and like not a happy thing to watch and like I said it did have that kind of like 70s camp quality but overall I uh, did not care for this movie I don't know if I would watch the sequels or not maybe I would if they were free but it was also weird watching it on Tubi where there's like You see, like, animal slaughter and dog fights that are real. And then there's, like, commercials for birth control and, like, um, pet medication stuff. And, and, like, there's this weird commercial where there's this woman who's, like, this is the inside of my vagina and... I don't take hormones and all this stuff. And so you're watching this like graphic gore, real life gore mixed with these weird commercials and stuff. Definitely a strange kind of experience. Watching it on Tubi was kind of weird. And this movie was long too. It was way too long. Um, I'm not, I looked it up and saw how long it is. I think it's like over two hours long and, uh, it was just a miserable experience. I didn't like it. I didn't care for the film and, uh, and also like all the personal stuff it brought up of thinking about my dad and stuff. I haven't talked to my dad in like probably over 15 years, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Like it's such a taboo movie and like, I remember kids talking about it on the playground and stuff when I was a kid and I remember I rented part four with my friend Dave and uh, we thought it was pretty like stupid just because it, most of it seems so fake <clears throat> but uh, I don't know you can watch it if you want to it's I didn't find it to be fun but go ahead and watch it if you want to it's on Tubi for free, and thanks so much for watching. Please comment, please thumbs up, please subscribe and ring the bell. Please share, because sharing is caring. And uh, go ahead and smash the thanks button if you enjoyed this review, because I'm not going to be able to monetize this video. So uh, smash that thanks button, and, and thanks.